One of the most common questions I've been asked lately about Warcraft Rumble is how does the grid work? It can be kind of confusing, it can be difficult to understand, and it's difficult to share the information in text in your clan chat. So today I hooked up with Bones McCoy over a call and he gave me all the details of what I need to know. Bones McCoy and I are part of the Aftershock Media Guild inside of the game. But back to the grid. After this video, you're gonna understand how to manipulate the grid in ways to get the most out of it, to unlock the most minis with the most experience. Plus I have some tips regarding upgrading your minis and your heroes so that you can just be in the best position inside of the game. So first things first, what is the Recycle Grid button do? That red button on the bottom. Notice I have 10 of them that are shared up here. I can recycle right now and the grid will recycle at 12 a.m. The grid is where you get yourself your minis. It is the best use of your gold inside of the game. But when you choose a mini, you may notice that everything shifts in the board and sometimes when you choose one, Everything will shift and ones that you may want will drop off and be absolutely gone. So you don't want to do this and I'm going to understand I'm going to help you understand how to prevent that from happening. So first things first, we want to recycle the grid because there's nothing on here I need. What I'm trying to do is get all of the minis that I have yet to unlock, which is only five at this point in time, because when you unlock all of them, you get extra bonuses with your victories. So I'm going to recycle the grid. It's going to completely boom, do it. And it's going to put all new minis on the grid for me to choose from. Now, as I take a look, we're going to cancel. We're going to keep this right here. Is there anything that I need? Well, first things first, I think that I may need these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check, make sure that that's something I need. And yes, look at that. I don't have them unlocked. So I'm going to come over here. I want to purchase these. I noticed that I have everything else on the grid already. So if I purchase these for the 90 gold, everything that's going to shift lights up in a darker color, or I should say gets shaded out in a darker color. So let's get out of that for a second. Notice when I click on it, the box above, the mini above, and the two boxes to the left all get shaded. What this means is once I buy these, the entire row is going to be, or the entire column is going to drop. So I'm gonna lose these guys up top. I'm not gonna have them available. But then these two rows right here are also gonna drop. So one, two, three are all gonna drop down a level, but they will not be lost. Let's buy this and demonstrate how it works. But I hope that you can understand how the shading works right now. We're gonna buy it. We're gonna unlock it, which is fantastic because we have not yet had them. Now there are only four minis that I've yet to unlock. And look at this, a level eight right off the bat. Boom, and everything drops. So, as you can see, we didn't lose the things that we didn't want to. Now, you can also move things on the grid if you want to. For five gold, you can move them into different box areas to manipulate what comes and what goes. This is you just kind of tinkering around and seeing where it would move best so that if you want two things on the board, and no matter how you see it, one you're gonna be able to buy and the other one's gonna drop off, well, then you can manipulate the boxes in a way that that doesn't happen. But we're not gonna be doing that right now. We're actually going to, because I believe we have everything on the grid right now. Let's go back, see what I want to unlock, what I need. All right, I'm seeing everything that I need and I don't see anything on the grid. So I'm gonna recycle my grid again. We are gonna do it and let's see what pops up this time. Okay, we are gonna say cancel. This is Perfect, because something just showed up right here that's very important, and that is this. The Modest XP Boost. This is going to give 120 extra experience to whatever is in the column or row that I purchase it from. So, anything that I buy above, below, left, or right of this, anything that was darkened, is going to get the extra XP. So for me, I absolutely love the Necromancer. I have it unlocked and I have it leveled. But being that I can get that extra XP, I probably am gonna wanna go ahead and buy that because I'm gonna get the extra XP from it. 
These tomes, these will give you the modest XP boost. They give you from low amounts all the way to massive over a thousand XP bonuses. So make sure that when you have a diamond or one of these show up for you, you don't let it get recycled. It's free experience. So here, we're gonna go with the Necro. We're gonna buy it. And we should, look at that. It came, boom, we got the star. And we are also getting that extra experience bonus right there onto my Necromancer, getting him closer to level 11, which is fantastic. Then everything starts dropping back down on the grid again. Now, I have everything here in the grid. If I want to, I would recycle, but I think at this point in time, you're understanding how we can work the grid. Now, we understand diamonds. I have some notes here because I don't want to miss out on anything that I have. Now, something about minis, when you upgrade them, let's say right here, I want to go ahead and upgrade my Black Rock, all right? If I want to go ahead and upgrade Black Rock to level nine, Oftentimes, we can get a 99% chance in doing the upgrade there that the next time the grid pops up, you're gonna see a skill or an ability for that mini on the grid. This is not guaranteed. It's not written in any information button anywhere, but when you do an upgrade, typically you'll see that happen. Now that brings me to abilities. How do you see them? They're not here, you can't click on them, but if you hit the info button, you'll notice that you have the three abilities. And I wanna share with you that don't be too excited to jump into the first ability that becomes available. Remember, you could recycle your grid, you can change what goes where, and you could wait and be patient to get the skills you want. And why does this matter? Because first of all, it takes three stars to unlock your first skill. That's not too hard to do. Three stars, yeah, I could do that. So you unlock your first skill. But it takes 10 stars to unlock your second. And it takes 25 stars to unlock the third skill. So what this means is, it's easy to get skill number one. And skill number one doesn't mean the first one on the list. It means the first one that you choose. Skill number two is moderate to grab. Skill number three is gonna take some time, it's gonna take some grind, or it maybe even will take some money inside of the game to get there. So what you need to do, and now every skill has its place in the game, but there's always gonna be one that's gonna be usable in more situations. Get to know the skills of the mini that you're upgrading so that you make the right choice and get the best skill first at the lowest cost, which is the three star cost. And again, to do that, all you do is hit the info button. You can get used to all of the skills and figure out which one does what. That's the grid. That's how it works. And that's how to get the most of your gold inside of the game. I wanna thank Bones McCoy again. We're gonna be seeing a lot more information from him, I believe, based on this game. If you wanna join us, we are the Aftershock Media Guild inside of Warcraft Rumble. I'll see you later.